Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite fall salads. It is butternut squash, arugula, pepitas, goat cheese, and some raspberry pecan dressing. When it comes to making salads, I usually like my salads pretty plain. A little lettuce, tomato, cucumber, maybe some avocado, or cheese, and some dressing, or croutons. That's it, I like to keep my salads basic. But this salad is one that I really love to eat all fall long. So let's check it out. The first ingredient that we're gonna add is arugula. Here I have about two cups of arugula, which is only 10 calories. Next, we're gonna add the pepitas. Pepitas are pumpkin seeds that you can get from the squash that we're gonna add to the salad, or you can just buy them. They're pretty high in calories, so I'm only gonna do two tablespoons, which is going to equal about 65 calories for two tablespoons. So just sprinkle those right over the top of your arugula. Next, we're gonna add about two tablespoons of goat cheese, which adds up to be about 40 calories. Next, what makes this a fall salad is the butternut squash. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your butternut squash in half. You're going to scoop out the seeds and then you will peel the butternut squash and chop it into about one inch squares. Once you chop it into one inch squares, place it on a cookie sheet and cook it in the oven for about 40 minutes at 400 degrees. Next, we'll add about one cup of butternut squash that's been roasted. I also love to put the extra in the fridge. I love it cold. I'll eat it with rice or just make another salad. Finally, I've got this raspberry pecan dressing, which is only 45 calories for two tablespoons. I recommend a sweet dressing. You can use lemon poppy seed and Skinny Girl makes a really good honey mustard dressing. So this one's from uh, Ken's and it's light. And we're gonna put about two tablespoons right in there on the salad. Ooh, just toss and enjoy. The total number of calories is about 350 calories for this whole salad. I also added a tablespoon of olive oil, which I used during cooking of the squash. So I hope you enjoy this yummy, delicious salad.